All right, this is um, a goose's head. I mean, that's just what it is. It's a, it's a mud fossil, and uh, I've examined it quite thoroughly, and that's what it is. You know, it's, it, it, you can see the feathers and everything. I'll show this a little closer in, in a minute. But all the articulation is there. Or, I mean, it, it, and I will show all this in a second. And this comes back to an extremely strange story that you will have to stay tuned in the end, and you will find out what that story is. But I'm going to show you this goose head right now, and this was found in uh, an area where it's Triassic Rock, uh, right down the street from uh, Dinosaur State Park, who has all the dinosaur footprints all over the place, and um, that's Triassic Rock, and this is Triassic Rock too. So it's, it's you know they they agree it is Triassic Rock, but nobody agrees that these things are actually uh, creatures in the uh, universities, and, and there's a story to be told here. So, stick with me. Let's look at this uh, this head here, and as a matter of fact, you can see this quite easily if you look at the, the actual um, feather pattern up here. I hope you can see that. Uh, and, of course, his beak and all that business, and the eye, and where the nose spots were. Now, this side was flat, and I believe this was what happened. He was laying like this, okay, and died, and, and this side flattened out, and of course this side stayed as the duck, uh, well, this goose. Now, the neck, this part, it, the neck sort of sunk down here and came off, and it broke right here. And I will do, you know, this is the microscope area right here, and I will do on a microscope and show you. But there, there's the, the throat, and right up there was where his, his uh, neck bone was. And that's the, that's the architecture of, of the skeleton, and I'll show you that too. And, and, and as you do this, let me uh, bring this down here. You see? You see the type of patterns you can get out of this? I'm going to teach you how to learn, how to, how to find out these things and, and see, like they used to do in the graveyards. You go in a graveyard at night, old, old, old graveyards. I'm up in New England and you can see the old writing on them. But this is how you see, like, the feathers. And, and I mean, they're all over here. There's feathers everywhere, except on his beak, of course. And, and the eye is there. And I mean, that's what it is. This is what it is. And that's his throat underneath there. They all wrinkly looking underneath. And up at the front, you see that little seam underneath? They have that little seam that goes up to their bill. And that's the bill. And now, this, like I say, was found right down the street from Dinosaur State Park. And that's, that's, that's his head. <laughs> Hold on a second. <laughs> Excuse me. That, that is, that's his eye right there. You see this here? If you can look carefully, you see that circular looking thing? That's his eye. And that's the center of his eye, and that's that's just his eye. And uh, this this tissue is the same type of tissue you will see on every single creature. It has those black spots because they're they they they're, they're, they're silicon, and I believe it turns into silicon carbide um, instead of silicon dioxide. But anyway, which means it's 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 long long transitioned. Anyway. Uh, that is the structure of the skin tissue, and that is the structure of the eye, and this is that gooseneck head. All right, I need you to understand that, that this is a bone, and do you see here? This is where the bone, what they look for the bone, the white part of the bone, is, is inside. And all that's left is that little, little, bitty, tiny piece right here. Let me back this out see if you can see that. See that little tiny piece is all that's left of the bone. And this is the process that happens in mud fossils. It's exactly, exactly opposite of dry fossilization. This is tissue. That's cartilage. This is what they call fascia. And fascia actually has a wrap to it. You see this? Look at this. You see that? I hope you can see that. You see that fabric there? They all have a fabric to them, and they wrap right around like a little you know, crescent roll. <laughs> it wraps up. And they're all wrapped up in what the ancient Greeks called tunica. And this is where those little tiny uh, tendon uh, enthesis balls invest, and all the little strings come out of them. And, uh, and this is for a ligament, and it keeps the bone to bone. And then they have uh, um, tendons that attach and, and pull your muscles and do all these things. But the thing I want you to take away from this is that you will never find a bone, well, you very, very, very rarely find a bone inside of mud fossils. They usually transition to what they call in the petroleum industry, source rock, 
which is highly mineral, well, it's highly uh, invested with hydrocarbons. And actually, hold on a second, they will, uh, I'll just one around here somewhere. There it is. They will actually bleed um, oil out of them when you cut them open. This one here, now this was long ago, long, long ago, that I cut this one open, but this is a bone, and when I first cut it open, this center part here, literally oil just flowed out of it. I mean, not flowed out of it like you could drive a car out of it, but you know, <laughs> it was it was just a lot of, a lot of, because what happens is the, the, the um, the blood in your in your, in your in the center of your bones is all the marrow and all that business, and and it turns into hydrocarbons. It's just what it is. No. Um, so anyway, you know about the rock and all that business. Now let's go back to the, the neck of this this thing here, and and here's the head, and that's the side you can't see it, but if you look closely, you can see the eyes in there, and everything is articulated right. There's this little beak, and there's the rest of them. Now. Um, you can see that same pattern is on this we saw on and, and there's the, the bottom and then we saw all the uh, feathers and all that now here's his neck and this I'm sure you won't be able to see easily what you do is you twist these things around and, and you'll see the articulation of things and that right there is is the bone of his neck you see it? up in here I believe and and that right there is where his throat would have been. Now, of course, these things aren't holes anymore because they get filled up with stuff. Uh, it's called, um, you know, invasion of nucleophilic invasion and ionic bonding and, you know, chemicals and minerals come in. They flow in here because this is in water. It's, it's in water. It's not in, it's laying out on, on the dirt and rotting. It was stuck in mud. So anyway, that's his, his neck. And uh, that's just what it is. It's, it's a bird. And see, watch, here's how you find it. See the feathers? See all those feathers running around? The birds, some of them have this big flap that lays down in it. And if you look real close, which I have, uh, you know, with other microscopes, you can see all the, uh, you can actually see the articulation of the feather tips uh, very hard on this. But it's, it's there, there, there. And, and this was found right down the street from where all of these uh, dinosaur footprints were found. And, you know, his duck beak is here and all that stuff. So that's just what it is. All right, here's the story I was telling you about. Dinosaur State Park is right down the street from where these things were found. This is a human, proven human, by two different ways. It's been DNA tested, and it has it absolutely 100%, and done with ancient DNA tests, not somebody just to dab and something on here. They were drilled deeply into one of the, the fingertips, into the arterial area and it came out 100 percent human dna as well as it's been tested or, or been uh, cat scanned and the cat scans have come back as 100 percent human and uh as as certified by uh, gil headley who is a uh, world-renowned anatomist uh, actually teaches uh, and owns a school about autopsies and uh, he verified these things it's very 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 clear now when you look at this palm that is the palm and it's three feet wide of a human giant and if you look at this particular pattern of, of, of skin it's a the heavy sole of your of your palm of your hand now if you extend your hand out like this you will have the exact same splay here as this and your thumb is over here exactly like this and it's they're all there it's 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 what it is is what it is that was a human hand three feet wide and that is not huge now here's the real story all right this is this is kind of hilarious this is dinosaur state park and these are all the dinosaur footprints all over the place now, these are the people looking down at him. Now, you saw that 36-inch hand that I showed you. I used to take my sons and my wife and I would take our kids down to a place very close here. They had all the geese and the ducks, and we would feed them similar to this, and they would walk around similar to that. <laughs> Dinosaurs were nothing more than little Tweety birds. <laughs>